Which you guys got another video here for you. Do you need to defrag your hard drive or SSD? That's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, fragmentation is caused by creating and deleting files and folders, installing new software and downloading files from the internet. Now, many years ago, we used to have to manually go in and defrag our drives and do preventive maintenance on our system. But in Windows 10 and Windows 11, things are done a lot differently. Now, a lot of people will still panic about seeing something like optimized drives and seeing media type SSD right here or solid state drive. And you can see it's not defragging the drive. It's basically using what we call uh, trim command. So it's basically running a trim command on our SSD. Now, if you have set up a weekly scanning or daily scanning or monthly scanning, it will go ahead and basically run a trim command if you have an SSD installed on your computer. That's also an SSD NVMe drive as well. It will take care of that for you. Now, what if you have a hard drive? Well, it's obviously going to defrag that drive for you automatically in the background and it will do it in small stages so you can see here we do have uh, two solid state drives here and i will quickly go in here and manually optimize this drive i don't need to do it but you can see it's using the trim command and it says trimmed so people get this confused and think it's defragging the actual ssd when it's not actually defragging your ssd it's actually using the trim command on your solid state drive. So the trim command tells the SSD that specific areas are containing data that are no longer in use. Because of the way solid state drives read and write information, the data is not deleted from the drive as the user uh, uses the uh, drive. Instead, the area of the SSD that contains the data is marked as no longer in use. The trim command tells the drive that the data can be removed. The next time the computer is idle, the active garbage collection will delete the data from that system using the trim command. Now, if you've got a hard drive like this one I've just plugged in here, it's going to act differently because it knows it's a hard drive. So if we go through the same process here and open up tools and go to optimization, you will see that the drive is listed here as a hard drive and it knows it's a hard drive. And it will tell me whether the drive is fragmented. Now, mechanical drive works in a completely different way to a solid state drive. A mechanical drive has moving parts, whereas a solid state drive does not. So when you run and analyze on your drive, it's going to tell you whether it's fragmented. And basically what that's going to do, if it's fragmented, you will need to defrag it. It will do this automatically. And you can see it's starting to defragment the drive. Now, a modern file system uses what's called an extent, which is a contiguous area of the disk, which is then reserved for one specific file. And then this way, it's not fragmented and scattered all over the drive. So it doesn't really need to be defragmented as much as it used to back in the earlier days. So a file with all of its parts stored in one location on that disk is described as contiguous. And if the file is not contiguous, it's fragmented, broken into pieces that are scattered throughout the disk. And this will then become fragmented. And this is why when you optimize the drive or defrag the drive, it will basically reshuffle all of these into a much more compact area to be able to work correctly. But in modern day technology, it's done in this way, which means it will work in the background and do it in small sections and you won't have to defrag your drive like you used to. Now, of course, if your drive is heavily fragmented, it's advisable to run a defragmentation of that drive. But you'll see here, I've plugged this drive in and I use this drive every so often. I plug it in and out. And again, I've never seen it fragmented. And that's because it will deal with it in the background and you don't really need to take care of all this manually anymore but it doesn't mean you can't do it manually and if you want to set this up and do this once in a blue moon to run a manual defragmentation of your drive you can do if you want to you don't need to use all this software on the internet and a bunch of other stuff that people tell you to do anymore windows takes care of a lot of this 
behind the scenes. And you can now see that it's going through its passes and it's now consolidating all of that data on that drive. And this is uh, going to be optimizing the drive and will obviously uh, make performance better on that drive if everything has been consolidated properly and defragmented. Now, again, you can have this running on a schedule, which is recommended. And also you can see the set priority to either daily, weekly or monthly. Now, get asked this question quite a bit. There was a problem with the defragmentation tool built into Windows and it was defragging solid state drives. But now it doesn't do that. It's actually using the trim command and it's also using the defragmentation on uh, hard drives. Now, if you want to know what the SSD trim means and uh, basically it what it does, you can read a little article, which I'll leave in the video description. This will help you understand what the SSD trim command is and what it actually does and how it works and how useful it is for your SSD. And I'll leave that link in the video description. Now, if you want to know more about fragmentation and defragmentation, then Microsoft have an article which you can go into and read. There's quite a lot of information about the types of fragmentation, file fragmentation, free space fragmentation, analyzing defragmentation, and other stuff like that. It's pretty in-depth, but if you do want to understand about it and how it works, I'll leave a link to this in the video description. You can see here file allocation table, which is your fat NTFS file system are susceptible to fragmentation. So it does still happen, uh, but not as bad as it used to back in the earlier days. You don't have to be so anal about uh, defragmenting your drive all the time the way we was taught back in the day. And now we don't have to worry about it so much. But you can see here, and you can see here how complicated the defragmentation uh, process is. And you can go right through here and read this article, and it will tell you exactly what happens. This defragmenter in action. And it will basically say that this defragmenter works to optimize your disks and keep them uh, running efficiently by locating the fragments of each file throughout the disk and then copying those contiguously to a new location, verifying that the copy is exact duplicate of the original, then updating the master file table so that the new file location is set and then deallocating the old location to reclassifying it as free space and then points to keep in mind, it will give you some information there. It's quite interesting if you're into uh, computers and you want to understand stuff. There's loads of information on here. I'll also Leave a link for this down in the video description as well. And there's also some other information here on Microsoft's website. Microsoft have a lot of information if you're looking to understand about things because obviously it's their operating system. And you can see here optimizing the NTFS file system. This goes into great detail about how optimizing the NTFS works. And you can read all this information on their website. Now, a lot of this information is probably going to be out of the scope of this video and probably way too much information for a lot of people that want to understand what you have to do. So in theory, you don't need to worry about defragging your drive or worrying about your SSD that's in your Windows computer. That being said, it doesn't hurt to have some sort of preventive maintenance set up. So once a month, you go in and just check to make sure everything is working OK with your drives and everything is functioning okay. And just check to make sure that the drives haven't become fragmented if you're running hard drives and also make sure that your SSD has had the uh, regular trim command run on it and it will tell you when it was last run. Anyway, but that said, I think that's gonna be about it for this video. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on defragmenting and also whether you uh, didn't know about this sort of stuff. I'll be interested to read your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just wanna say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.